Okay, let's have a look on this question 7. This is the SPM MX paper 2 for this year, uh, year 2012. Okay, for this question, question 7, this is linear law question. It says use the graph paper to answer this question. Okay, mean you have to use the graph paper to answer this question. So table 7 show the values of two variables x and y obtained from an experiment. Okay, and then the variable x and y related by the equation. This is the equation is given y equal to h over kx plus 1 over kx squared, where h and k are constant, mean h and k can be any number. Okay, so okay, here he gives you a table. I give you this table. Okay, based on the table 7, construct a table for the values of x squared y. Okay, what is the meaning construct x square y? Mean he asked you to, to construct another table for x square, x multiple x, and then multiple y. Then this is what we need to do now. Okay, so as what you want, so you just construct according to what you want. Okay, so okay, x square y. So I just draw it nicely. Okay, so he want another for x square y okay so yes we construct here okay so what is the meaning by x square y means actually you need to press the calculator and then calculator will tell you the answer okay x square y means multiple x two times x multiple x and then multiple y okay so I just use the calculator so the first one is Still the same x multiple x is 1, 1 multiple y will be 2.601. And then this one, 2 multiple 2, you got 4, 4 multiple 0 0.551. So I just press 4 multiple 0 0.551. Okay, so the number I got is 2.204. 2 okay, x square, 3 square, you got 9, 9 multiple 0 0.149. 9 multiple 0 0.1 or 194 sorry so what you got is 1.746 okay and then okay 4 square 4 square is 16 multiple 0 0.089 0 0.089 so you have got 1.424 and then 5 square multiple y is 25 25 multiple 0 0.04 this one this one you got one and then 6 square is 36 36 multiple 0 0.017 so this one you got 0 0.612 0 0.612 Okay, this is what they call it construct a table for x square y. Okay, after you done, okay, for a second part, he say plot a y square x again x. Again x, okay, I just write down the x value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, again x. Okay, 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis. In this one is 2 cm for 1 unit and then 2 cm for 0 0.5 unit for x square y okay then okay now we come and draw the graph okay okay this is a graph paper please allow me to like zoom out because if not you cannot see the whole thing okay I just zoom out okay and then I will use the I will use the pen to draw okay so since here actually I do not have any negative value okay so yep so I will start drawing now okay. okay first thing what I draw is okay I draw a line for here first okay oops flip over so I will draw a line here for x acid okay and then I also draw a line for y acid. Okay. Okay. And then what he's give us here is 
this one is 2 cm for one unit so this one will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 until 6 okay so I just draw it and then this one I write X okay and then he said 0 0.5 unit for 2 cm so this one will be 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 2.0 and then 2.5 until 3.0 because my maximum value here is 2.6 uh, 2 only okay and then I write this one is x square y okay okay then I just blot accordingly okay okay so I didn't show you the table because I straight away blot okay first is 1 is 2.601 okay this is 1 and 2.6 the 1 is over here okay so okay 2.6 Okay, this is 0 0.5, so 2.6, 2.7, nah, 2.6, so it's somewhere here. Okay, and then 2, you have got 2.204, 2.204, 2.204 2.204 is somewhere here. Okay, this is 3, you have got 1.746, 1 1.746, okay, 1.7, 1 1.74 is, okay, somewhere 1.75. Okay, and then 4 is 1.424, 1.424, okay, this is 1.4, 1.424 is somewhere here, okay, and then 5, 5 you have got 1, okay, this is simple, 1, okay, and then 6 you have got 0 0.612, okay, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.612 is somewhere here, okay, after I done, I just connect it. Okay, when you connect it, one very important thing is you have to make sure the straight line will touch the this acid, Y acid, or this one is called X square Y acid. Okay, must touch the straight line must touch at this acid. Okay, so okay because best fit means you try to connect as many coordinate as possible, what we call best fit. Okay, and then try to go on the leader okay so i just do a connect here okay from the what i draw here the best fit here the y acid which is the c i will got okay because later you will see some you have to find this so this one is the what they call it x square y intercept okay and then later you have to find the gradient okay you have to find the m Okay, so yeah, when he asked me to find the M, I will choose some coordinate lah. I will maybe, yeah, maybe I will choose some of the coordinate here. Maybe I choose this coordinate and yeah, and this one. Because later, if he asked me to find the gradient, okay, I can choose until here. Over here, where well, this is one. Okay, when you've got one, you can make the equations look simple. Okay, if later you ask me to find gradient, I will find this one. Okay, okay, now when you're done for this one, when you're done for this one, okay, let's go back to the question. Okay, this is the way to draw. Okay, okay, then we go back to the question. Okay, hence draw the line of best fit. Okay, we already draw okay then he asked you to find y when x equal to 2.5 okay and then ask you to find k and h okay in order to do that okay we better solve the equation first okay, what equation we have is okay we have is y equal to h over kx plus 1 over kx square okay okay now we are x y square we are x y square again x so means this here we should got x y square so what i can do is i multiple x square for everything i multiple x square here here and here so this one i will got x square y okay multiple x square x square and x i simplified will become h x over k and then multiple x square here here i will got one over k okay you just multiple x square here and x and x you simplify lah. 
Okay, after that I rearrange. I want to x square again x. So this one I rearrange. So x over y will equal to h over k x plus 1 over k. Okay, and then y equal to mx plus c. Okay, y equal to mx plus c. So from here I can know my y is x square y. My m is h over k. My x is x. My C is 1 over K. Okay? So from here, I can got almost all the information. Then I start to find the, what he want. Okay, when X equal to 2.5. So you have to find when X equal to 2.5. So 2.5, which is here. 2.5. So you just connect up to the line you got here. Okay. Okay. I just roughly connect uh, because this band a bit hard to okay so actually I will got the values of two so I got the values of two for y okay so for this one y when x equal to 2.5 so what I write here will be okay y the first one y will equal to 2.0 okay this is from the graph and then it asks you to find the value k. Okay, find the value k from the equation we got just now. What is c? Okay, for the equation we got just now, c will equal to 1 over k. Okay, from the graph, what is our c? c is 3. Okay, c is 3. So therefore, c is 3, I substitute here. Therefore, 3 will equal to 1 over k. Therefore, k will equal to 1 over 3. Okay, or you can write 0 0.33. Okay, so here I got the k value. After that, he asked us to find the last one, find h. Okay, h is on the m, m h over k one. So we have to find the values for m. So therefore, just now I choose two coordinate. Okay, I choose this coordinate and this coordinate. Okay, actually, yes, you know, to make it simple, actually, I can choose the 2.5 one. We'll, we'll, we'll make this one simple a bit. So therefore, y1 minus y2, this is 2.5 minus 1. So m will equal to 2.5 minus 1 divided by, okay, this is 2.5, okay, uh, wait, y1, or oh, y is over here, sorry. Okay, m will equal to, okay, this one, this is, y1 minus y2, you can get it from, okay, I get it from this one. What is this coordinate? This coordinate is 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1. Okay, and then over, this coordinate will be 2.5 minus, okay, this one will be 5. Okay, then from here, actually I just take two coordinates. One coordinate is this one, and another coordinate is this one. Okay, and then you can see the value over here okay okay this one is 2 okay 2 minus 1 this is 1 and then after you choose this as, as the y1 so this is x1 also this is 2.5 over uh, minus 5 okay so therefore I got this equation I just solve this one I can get m so therefore I got negative 1 over negative 2.5 then I will got negative 1 and negative, and negative so it's 1 over 2.5 so I've got 1 over 2.5. Okay, 1 over 2.5. If I transfer this to the... If I transfer this one to the... Uh, fraction, it will become 2 over 5. 2 over 5. You got 2 over 5, you've got 2.5. Okay? Uh, no, no, you've got 1 over 2.5. 1 over 2.5 actually is 0.4. Okay? Okay, so... Yes. Okay, if okay, we got 2 over 5, and then we put in this one. This is m. So we put back here. So m will equal to h over k. m is 2 over 5. So 2 over 5 will equal to h over k is 1 over 3. So we solve this one. It will be h. h, what you got for h will equal to 1 over 3 multiple 2 over 5. Therefore, h will equal to 2 over 15. Okay, 
in this chapter, if you convert this one to decimal, I think it's all right also. So 2 over 15, you have got what? 0 0.13333. So this one you have got 0 0.1333. And this one you have got 0 0.333. Okay. So if you want to convert to decimal, um, yeah, convert to this number, I think it's all right also. Yeah, and then, and then this is based on graph. So I think your value can be a little bit different from me. Let's say you got 0 0.336 or 0 0.34. I think it's still all right. So, so if you watch this video and then you find out actually your answer is a little bit different with me, don't panic on, because actually in the marking scheme, they can tolerate a little bit uh, difference. Okay. And then some students maybe they route off to two decimal place. I think it's okay also. But then for MX, I think it's good that at least you have three decimal place. Can make your answer more accurate. Okay, this this then you can get get H and K and then you got the Y when X equal to 2.5 from the graph. So yeah, this is the question seven for linear law. Okay, I hope this video can help you. Okay, thanks a lot.